Hello YouTube audience, uh, today is April the 19th, 2020. I think most of the world is still under lockdown uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic and uh, so am I in Seattle. Um, it's also uh, a special time for me because it's close to my friend Matthew's birthday um, so I would like to dedicate this um, video to him so if you are watching Matthew happy birthday um, I know that it's a difficult time so it could be a little bit difficult to be happy even during one's birthday but I hope this video bring uh, you as uh, as well as uh, maybe other audience a little bit more happiness um, so I want to do an update on this tree uh, this is a Lawson cypress, uh, cypress. Um, the variety name is Snow White and uh, it is a tree that Matthew gave me as a gift last year uh, when he visited last summer when he visited Seattle um, so it was sold as a Christmas style tree is simply it was simply a conical conical shape tree you can imagine a conical shape like that and I um, trim most of the branches and make a gin here this is a gin there were, were two more major uh, branches there but i thought that was too much for bonsai so i made it into gin and uh, in case you don't understand why uh, we make a living branch into gin uh, because um, in bonsai if you have too many branches it become uh, the tree becomes more too crowded and uh, we cannot see very well the characteristic of the whole tree so to reduce some of the branches we uh, make it into dead wood which occurred in older tree in nature to um, uh, to emphasize the age of the tree although this is a very small tree but uh, we try to give it a appearance of a much older tree so some of this that wood that wood the purpose is uh, to make the tree look older um, so this tree is growing very well last fall i first styled it did a lot of branch reductions also created the gin and uh, this spring in february i repotted the tree and uh, it looks like the tree is surviving very well and you can see these a little bit yellowish green tips they are the growing tips so the tree is growing very healthily so you can see all these yellow tips they are the new leaves the growing tips of the tree um, i wire some of the branches down the all the branches are still very young but um, i wire some of the branches downward because in nature uh, if you have a big tree the branches normally it would not just um, uh, grow upward but it would hang downward it would hang a little bit downward because the the gravity is pulling it down uh, so that's why the in older trees you normally see branches that hang downward um, so that's what I did uh, for this tree and a lot of the branches are completely are still completely green like this one that means uh, it's not old enough to be wired so I just leave them to grow 
like this branch you can see some woody uh, woody part in it so it's all enough uh, old, old enough uh, for wiring so I wire them uh, but most of the branches are still uh, too young so I'm waiting for them to grow a little bit older and maybe in this fall we will see if if some of them become matured enough for wiring um, so on the side here last year when I first style it I cut a lot of branches they did not go to waste I make them into cuttings so I basically st stuck this little branches I cut into soil and I think that surprisingly they all survive I thought there probably would be a um, proportion maybe not all of them would survive but it seems like most of them survive so uh, it is something that's interesting to know the Lawson Cypress at least th this var variety is very good for making cuttings um, so they survive uh, a lot of them would survive and I just stuck them in in fall uh, and it, it uh, go through the winter in Seattle outdoor and they all survive and some of them has start growing so if you uh, look at the tip look at some of the tip of these it start started to grow um, so today the, the video would be relatively simple um, because this tree is uh, still very much in development so this year I'm probably not going to work on it too much uh, other than watering it and waiting for it to grow um, I have reported it um, in I reported the tree in February so it has been two months uh, and it survived and it's spring and the tree is growing so it is in fact time to give it a push to fertilize it a little bit so I'm going to add a little bit of fertilizer to it uh, so I'm using this uh, fertilizer for uh, evergreen uh, and the nutrition is 10,5,4 uh, so the, the 10 is nitrogen so it, in the spring uh, for trees that's in development I would give it a high nitrogen uh, content so that um, it grow faster it, it's, the nitrogen help to um, uh, grow the uh, the leaves uh, so the five is uh, pota potassium uh, and the four is calcium um, so in these forms um, and it's a lot of it it's um this is um slow releasing uh fertilizer so i'm just going to add a little bit near the the edge of the pot i'm not going to add too much because this is a small pot um, I don't want to over fertilize it I'm adding just several pallets okay so that's the fertilizer um, the other thing I can do for now is to 
top dress the soil uh, with moss. You can see these uh, bonsai soil. Um, they are a third of it are uh, pumice, like this white rock. rock. It's a, a type of vo volcanic rock, uh, but it has retained a lot of water. Um, and this is uh, also black lava rock. Uh, it's very porous, so it uh, it provides a lot of air in the soil. Also retain a lot of water. And the, also there are these brown ones. These brown ones, uh, it's a Japanese substrate called the um, Akadama. So it retains a lot of water also provide a lot of aeration for the roots. The roots need air to grow, uh, but also the top of the soil uh, always dry up a little bit fast, and which is not uh, exactly the best for the, the surface root to grow. So we can top dress it with something that can hold on to the water a little bit better. Um, and uh, also it's good for its look so I pick up some moss on the street uh, and um, I'm just going to put some moss onto the surface of the, the plant just push this moss down Little by little, hopefully, they would grow on this uh, on this surface. So I'm doing it in a relatively easy way, which is just putting the moss on there, um, and um, which may or may not be the best way to do this, but there is a more professional way uh, of doing it, uh, which is um, you can in fact um, dry the whole moss uh, under the sun and then um, put them uh, through a sieve to sieve all the soil out and uh, only the, the dry moss uh, would be left in there and they become just like powders um, and then when they are dry, um, so when they are completely dry, you just you just put the powders uh, on top of the soil, and it contains uh, maybe spores uh, of the of the moss and uh, they are going to grow when they see water just go trying to put the moss on there
now you also have a 360 degree view on the tree because I cut off most of the branches on this tree if you think about it from a Christmas tree like shape a conical shaped tree to now it may be a little bit spare um, but I hope that over time it would become fuller and the branches would hopefully would become uh, more defined So over time, not not just in a second. Okay, and gradually filling the surface of the soil with moss I'm not going to put the moss right up to the trunk of the tree um, because it is not very good for the tree to have moss growing right on the trunk because the moss can hold on to too much water and overall uh, over time it may um, it may rot the rot the trunk of the tree but it's okay to for it to be um, on top of the soil which can help the, the surface soil to hold on to water and in the in the case uh, when the top of the soil tend to dry out relatively fast um, it is a good thing because it helps uh, the soil to the surface of the soil to hold on to water. So it looks like that right now. Um, maybe it would look more like a bonsai right now um, the soil is a little bit high uh, above the the lip of the pot um, at the moment it, because uh, it was the first time I repot this tree so this February, it was the first time I repot this tree from a much larger um, nursery container. So um, I was worried about cutting off too much roots. I hope the tree to survive. So I actually um, a little bit overfill the, the pot with soil so that I can put more roots in um, but over time in the future I may just reduce the surface soil so that it's, um, it's uh, even um, on the surface of the pot so I have today I have fertilized the, the tree and uh, do some review uh, on the what I did over time and uh, I also top dress the the tree with um, moss so now I'm just going to do a watering of the tree So I'm trying to water it thoroughly. I 
also trying to get to the back of the tree. When a plant is watered thoroughly, uh, we will start to see uh, water running out from the bottom of the pot. So I have seen water running out. I uh, don't know if you can see it, but water is running out from the bottom. Um, so this is... Um, what I will do today for the tree and as I said this year is mainly growing because it is uh, still a very young tree um, so um, again um, although the the time is difficult the day is still very beautiful um, so and this tree is uh, growing, surviving, um, and you can see it is spring. And this is the view from my balcony and the cherry blossom is going on right now. And there are also some white flowers which I don't know exactly what they are, but they are also blossoming. So it is uh, a, beautiful, a beautiful day in a difficult time. Um, so again, I hope this video bring you a little bit more happiness in this time. Um, and again, I want to say happy birthday to my friend, Matthew. Um, I hope uh, you stay safe and positive, uh, although far away in France. Um, I believe you are also under uh, quarantine. Um, so I hope you have, a, although a very special, but um, still a happy birthday. Um, so this is the video for the day and um, I will see you next time and take care of yourself. Bye.